You probably know that the American Registry for Internet Numbers, or ERIN, manages the allocation of internet resources based on policies in the Number Resource Policy Manual. But did you know that many of those policies started as ideas from the community? Or that the ERIN Advisory Council is the elected body that helps those ideas develop into policies? And while we know it can be a bit intimidating, we believe becoming involved at ERIN and in the ERIN policy process might be easier and less complicated than you imagined. Let's talk about ERIN policy. Policies are developed through a process known as the Policy Development Process, or PDP. We know. Catchy title. This process was designed to be a completely open and transparent process, where anyone can participate. It starts with a proposal. This is the idea for a specific change to policy text submitted by anyone. The Advisory Council, or AC, is the elected body charged with moving the PDP along. We will get into more details about this body in a bit. The AC assigns shepherds to oversee the development of a draft policy from that idea. Those shepherds work with the author of this proposal to ensure it has a clear problem statement and fits within the scope of Aaron's mission. Once those criteria are met, the proposal can become a draft policy, and it's time for it to be presented for feedback from the community on the public policy mailing list or PPML and at public policy meetings and consultations. This is another place we need you involved. Does this policy idea work for your organization? Is there something you favor about the policy, or are you concerned about some element of it? After more discussion, review, and input from the community, that draft policy can become a recommended draft policy. Once a recommended draft policy is presented at an errand meeting, it can go to a last call period, and then to the Board of Trustees for ratification. This process goes the same way for policy additions, removals, and changes, and it all starts with you, our community. As mentioned before, the Advisory Council is an elected body at Aaron whose primary responsibility is to develop fair and impartial, technically sound, and community-supported internet number resource policy. Our eligible general members elect this 15-member body. In addition to facilitating the policy development process, AC members participate in monthly conference calls, volunteer for outreach efforts, monitor the public policy mailing list, and participate in AC working groups such as the Number Resource Policy Manual Working Group and the Policy Development Process Working Group. Aaron thrives when our community is engaged. We are literally powered by participation. There are so many simple ways you can participate in the Aaron policy process. Our mailing lists. While we have several mailing lists, are you subscribed to the Aaron Public Policy mailing list? This is that first opportunity to communicate your thoughts on draft policies. Advisory Council Shepherds will reach out on the mailing list during several stages of the process, looking for feedback. Public Policy Meetings Join us for the policy block of our spring and fall meetings to again voice your feedback, concerns, and approvals on the policy proposals that are up for discussion. The Policy Proposals Themselves Remember where we started in this video. Someone has an idea. They submit it as a proposal. If you want something changed in the way things are done, you have the power to propose the change. Your most powerful opportunity for action happens once a year. Vote. The 15-member AC serves three-year terms in a staggered rotation. That means, generally, five seats are up for election each year, so every election can make a huge difference. It is easier than ever to qualify to vote. All organizations that are general members in good standing will be provided the opportunity to vote every fall. There are two customer membership categories, service and general. Both categories are entities with a valid Aaron Registration Services Agreement, an RSA or LRSA for IP address space, but general members must express a commitment to participating in Aaron elections and maintain good standing in order to cast a ballot. Not sure what your organization's member status is? You can check your status in your Aaron online account. If your organization is currently a service member and eligible to request general membership, you can access the general member request form through the Actions drop-down menu on your organization information. General member organizations must have a valid designated voting contact and be in good standing with no outstanding or overdue fees, 45 days prior to the start of the election to be eligible to vote. Are you ready to go further? 
Consider running in the next election. Each fall, representatives from Aaron's general members in good standing elect candidates to the Aaron Board of Trustees and Advisory Council to serve their staggered three-year terms. To appear on the ballot, any individual may self-nominate during the established period and submit a completed candidate questionnaire. The nomination committee will classify all nominees based on their qualifications and all qualified candidates will be put forward on the ballot. Check out more information about our election process and calendar. Internet number resource policy may not seem like the most exciting place to spend your time, but the number resource policy manual and Aaron as a whole rely on the input from all of our community. That community is quite literally anyone that has an interest in how the internet operates and the rules by which internet number resources are allocated. Bringing an idea to a proposal. Draft policy. Recommended draft policy. An eventually adopted policy requires input from all directions and has a direct impact on your business and the health of the internet as a whole. Thanks for being involved.